Hey guys, I'm back here in my little spot this afternoon. I uh, thought I'd try to uh, make a bush chair. This is an elective lesson for the bush class uh, over at Bushcraft USA. Um, if you haven't already checked out the bush class, uh, I recommend you get over there and check it out. It's over at uh, bushcraftusa.com. It's a real good resource. So, uh, anyhow, we're kind of in between rainstorms, been raining off and on all day, so I'm going to try to get this in today. We're going to Start me a little fire and get me some lunch going first here. So uh, stay tuned. I'll be back with you in a minute. Okay, so what I have here is I have a cotton ball. It's been lightly dipped in candle wax. I'm just going to expose them fibers, get some surface area there, get them fine, fine fibers there. Um, I've taken this green stick, just kind of put here to act as a brace to keep everything up off the ground. Um, along the trail, I found the standing dead. Um, dry in the middle so and it's real uh, nice and light and hollow in the center so that's what I'm going to use to get this fire started so anyway here we go move that back over there Put the small stuff on there I gathered quite a bit of it because like I said it's really really lightweight stuff so it probably won't burn too long and I got some bigger pieces of it still nice and dry on the inside that's why I picked it So we'll let that go for a couple minutes. It'll probably take a couple minutes to take off since everything's damp, but uh, we'll let it go for a second and I'll be back with you. Okay, it took a couple minutes, but it's starting to take off, so I'm gonna go ahead and toss some fuel on there. This is all split stuff from fires past. Kind of cleaning up the campsite. Picked a lot of this up off the ground, to be honest with you. some of this wet stuff all dried out and burning we can be cooking pretty soon okay guys so I'm waiting for the fire I'm gonna go over lunch a little bit here uh, I'm gonna make me a little stew uh, got the ramen noodles here uh, chicken flavor I got a chicken gravy packet a country gravy packet um, and a baggie here with some canned chicken and some canned carrots in it um, kind of an impromptu trip, so everything just kind of got tossed in the baggies last minute along with my coffee and sugar. So uh, I got a couple of billy cans here, smaller one for a coffee pot, bigger one for a stew pot, and then of course my stainless cup, which I'll use for my coffee. Okay, so lunch as well along the way. As you can see, I kind of lost my bannock. I was able to save one little chunk that fell in the coals. It doesn't look all that great, but it smells amazing, so... Here in a couple minutes, uh, everything should be ready, and then uh, I can eat and get busy with my chair. Okay, so everything's ready. I got my stew, got my coffee, got my little bannock nugget. So uh, I'm going to get some grub down and uh, then get started on this chair. The first order of business as it comes to this bush chair is I want to have two fairly solid pieces uh, about the same length. They don't have to be exactly the same length. And if they're a little long, no big deal. We can cut the ends of them off. So that'll be the start to our bush chair. Okay, these two pieces here are going to be my seat. So what I've done is I've just tied onto this. I've left plenty of tag. I'm just going to do a simple overhand. And I'm going to go around a few times and then start going in between. When I start going in between here, I'm going to want to pull this good and tight. So 
so my ration holds. And then I left a tag to tie off to. And then that will be the seat. Okay, so now how this is going to work is this is going to go behind the tree like so. And then I'll have a leg on each side here. And of course my cross piece is here to sit on. So uh, this will be a quick, easy camp chair. Got uh, my seat up there. Really all I've done is just stuck it up there, uh, then tied this scrap piece of bank line around, kind of create pressure, clamp it on there while I'm working on it. So uh, next order of business is to get the legs, get them measured. So uh, I'll be back with you in here in just a minute, and we'll get that done. So next, I'm going to get my legs. It's going to be just about the height. I'm going to go maybe about an inch above the top of the seat there. Cut this off. And then I'm actually going to go ahead and notch this. Just to add a little bit of strength. That'll just be my measurement. I'll get my uh, other leg cut the length and then we'll notch them. Okay, so I got my, took my saw, marked out my spot for my notches here. This is probably knife abuse, but this is a good heavy knife, so I'm real confident that it'll be able to do this. That notch is actually probably a little deep, but it'll be all right. I'm not gonna get too critical with it, so I got my notches cut and my legs. Got this bank line. Again, I'm gonna tie a overhand knot, leave a nice little tag there to work with. I'm actually gonna scoot this back a little bit. And then I'm just going to do a square, square lash if this thing will stay up. And then once I go around a few times, I'm going to pull it in real tight. Uh, got the legs on. Now what I'm going to need to do is lash the seat to the tree. So we're going to need quite a bit of bank line for that. So like before, I'm going to just tie off here. Give myself a tag. Then I'm basically just going to do that same square lash. Only this time to the tree. And this one, I definitely want to make sure I pull it good and tight. You can even use a stick, tie a loop on this end, put a stick through it, pull on the stick to add uh, some tension to that. Okay. 
actually shorted myself, so I'm just going to tie another piece on here real quick. I want to make sure this part is good and sturdy, good and tight. So I got my legs lashed, I got the seat lashed to the tree, that's that jumbled up mess there. Then I have it lashed at the end. So now all I got to do is get my cross pieces to make the seat. Okay, I got all my pieces cut for my seat here. I'm going to go ahead and tie off. And we're just going to flash these down. We're not going to spend all day doing it. Just gonna give it one wrap. One frap. Maybe two fraps. Like I feared, whenever I went to sit down on the chair, it held fine, only these legs wanted to stick in the mud. So I'm going to have to figure out something here real quick to uh, keep that from happening. Best solution I can think of is to try to lash these uh, pieces here kind of like skis on the bottom of these legs, disperse some of the weight here. So hopefully it won't sink down in the ground. Okay, so at the bottom of these legs, I put these little skis, for lack of a better word. I notched the leg and the little ski and lashed them to the bottom. So uh, everything's all lashed together. Now we're just ready for the old patented butt test. Okay, so the seat does hold my weight. Um, good and sturdy. But admittedly, I could have made these side pieces a little longer, put a few more cross pieces in uh, to give myself more area for my butt. Um, but it does serve its purpose, so uh, it'll give me a nice little place to take a load off or a little prep area or bench or table for the little day camp here. So uh, that was my little project for the day. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.